for those of you that have been dreading the combat results table video, I have chosen to start with this one because I suspect it matches your fears. It's pretty off-putting, even honestly to me, because it's been a while since I played this game and I had to refresh my memory about how it works. So I can imagine how someone who's never dealt with a table like this might feel. The values here at the top represent a ratio of the attack strength to the defense strength. And as is typical both in war games and in real life, once you get above at a ratio of three times the attack strength to one times the defense strength and up, things start to turn in your favor. Anything less than this is a lot uh, iffier as it were. The numbers down here represent a number that you would be rolling on the die. Now, you may wonder, well, why is the negative number possible? In war games, typically, everything is modified by something. So after you have applied all your modifications and added those or subtracted them through what you roll on the dice, you then come up with a number here and you have already also calculated your various strength and then it is simply a matter of reading down the chart to find the result. We're going to show an example here of a U.S. infantry unit that is in this town of Rochefort and it is going to be attacked by two German units. Per the game rules, the two units can attack together. So what we're looking at here is an attack strength value of this first number, 11 plus 6, that's 17 against 5. And we mentioned, of course, that on the chart, you need to find the ratio here, as I just pull up to show you. 17 against 5 brings you on the 3 to 1 results table. Now, the way you're going to read that is by figuring out ultimately what your die roll is and then moving across. So this is where the uh, CRT gets to be interesting and particular, of course, to every game because we need to figure out what the various modifiers are. I want to just spend a little time talking about these attacker combat modifiers and defense combat modifiers because I think this is where uh, people can get confused in war games. The attacker combat modifiers here are going to be applied to the die roll for the person making the attack and disrupted, out of supply, light attack, these things that take away from the roll are all various negatives that would happen in the game based on the game rules. Supply lines in war games are very common and I'll probably talk about this in a later video, but all of these things being disrupted are weakening your force. So they are going to be taking away from your role ultimately. In this particular game, there is um, a, a neat functionality where you can allocate extra attack points to create what is known as a heavy attack, which is going to be the case here where you get a plus one to your role. In addition, day and night turns give different effects for the Germans or the Allies, and this is going to be a night turn example, so the Germans are also going to gain this modifier. As well, there are pluses and minuses applied to the die roll based on issues of defense, and in most cases here, we're looking at terrain modifications. So, for example, if you are hiding in a town, that is going to take away from the die roll of the attacker because you're going to be gaining cover from the town. In this case, you're going to be gaining some cover from a minor river and a village, not as much as from the town, and also from the woods. So, of course, these are particular to this game, but when you come to learn the game, you will know that and bear that in mind when you're moving your pieces about. Ditto here, uh, disrupted refers to the effects of a prior combat, and the uh, isolation also refers to supply. So, these are pluses and minuses applied to the role itself. And in addition, I am deciding that this is a heavy attack based on the rules of the game. This has to do with how many points you allocate for to enable a heavy attack. We're not going to get into those rules, but for this example, we're going to have a plus one modifier because it's a night turn and a plus one because it's a heavy attack.
But that's not it. We're not done. There are defender combat modifiers too, and these are subtracted from the die roll. Now in this case, you can see that the defender is occupying a town, which results in a minus two modifier. So we've got the plus two and the minus two effectively canceling each other out. What that means is ultimately the roll we get on our die is simply going to be the roll we get. So we're working here in this game with a 10-sided die and we rolled a four. So coming back over to the CRT, we are following the number four line here to find, again, remembering that we are on the three to one column and here is our result. The first value is the result for the attack and the second value is the result for the defense. So the attack here, nothing happens and the defense has to retreat. That is what R means. So coming in for a closer look, we will see how we can implement this retreat result. What this means is that the U.S. infantry that is occupying this town must retreat, and there are retreat rules, so we would know um, to which hex they would be retreating. This is a successful result, of course, because now the town is open. It is not perhaps as successful as the Germans might have wanted because this unit is not eliminated entirely. And of course, it is more successful than other results could have been, which may have resulted in the... German unit losing a step. And in this case, we could see that this particular unit has lesser values here, even without knowing what they are, six, five, and zero, you can see clearly are lesser values than 11, eight, and nine. But in any event, the outcome was a retreat on the part of the defenders. And that's an example of how this CRT works. All right, I decided to give you a break from looking at that CRT and bring in one that's a little more palatable. It's slightly different, but um, similar enough. So instead of the per, uh, the ratios being expressed as ratios, their percentages here in this regard, it is keyed here, the attacker uh, SP is strength point as a percentage of the defender strength point. And down here is simply a roll of a D6 of a six-sided die um, without any modification. So you would get your number, well, there are modifications, but the modifications are not present here on the table. So it's a little more friendly to look at. With actual combat, it is very, very rare to have the attacker entirely eliminated. That is designated by this AE result here. Because if you think about it, one side is not going to continue to attack, continue, continue to the point of elimination. But nevertheless, there are a few of these attacker eliminated results here. There are other results here. For example, the attacker will retreat and also be pursued by the defender. So this is a kind of dynamic result where the attacker has to go back and the defender has the option to follow them. EX stands for exchange and this is a common, some of these are very common uh, to all war games that have this type of CRT. Uh, an exchange in this case means that basically both sides take losses and there are rules for calculating that. We have the um, the DE result down here, which is that the defender is eliminated. We've got uh, CA, which stands for counterattack. And in this case, in this game, it means that basically the attacker and the defender switch sides. So that the result of combat is simply that then the uh, defender becomes the attacker in the next round. So you can see when you start to understand what some of these values mean, how these CRTs really do model the dynamics of actual conflict. As we look here at one last CRT, that's pretty much all I'm going to say about them. Once you get into a game, you're going to understand how to calculate and figure out what the number of strength points is, for example, in this case, what the ultimate modifiers are, and they're even going to tell you some of them in some cases. You will understand what all of these things mean, and it won't be scary.